It's the pig. The pig. The pig. <laughs> Okay. That was cool. <laughs> you. Thanks for the exorcism, Father. <laughs> Petey was already a handful, but you add Satan to the mix, and wow. <laughs> so, uh, what's the damage? No charge. I'm just glad he's okay. Oh, come on. At least let me get the dry cleaning tab for your scarf thingy. <laughs> really, I'm. I'm fine. Uh, uh, say, Bob, uh, someone told me you were struck by lightning recently. Flying kites at the beach. <laughs> Actually, it hit me first, then shot through the whole family. <laughs> you should have seen Liz's hair. So we all stop, drop, and roll, and Bob rolls right into a scorpion's nest. <laughs> oh, dear God! What a day that was. <laughs> Are you guys done yet? Because I need to ride to Samantha's. Honey, we just drove a demon out of your brother. <laughs> so I have to take the bus? I'll take you to Samantha's tomorrow. Yeah, unless we're abducted by aliens or attacked by birds. I hate this family. I can never make plans. Hey, you go to my school. Colin Richards. I just moved here. <laughs> <laughs> You're Faith Pitt, right? Uh, not for long. I've got this Korean couple really interested in adopting me. <laughs> I heard all the stories about your family, but I thought they were just urban legends, like that one about the bloody hook. Oh, no, that was our car door. <laughs> Listen, could we keep this exorcism between us? I'm still trying to live down that whole beard of bees. <laughs> okay, I mean, if you don't tell anyone I'm an altar boy, my friends all think I work at Hooters. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, here, let me help you with that bile. <laughs> Fifteen copies at 75 cents. Could you staple them? 77 cents. <laughs> we are smoking today. Mailboxes and more, et cetera, for all your shipping, copying, key making, laminating these. This is Liz. Can I help you? <laughs> Mom, will you tell Petey to get off the computer? I have to check Samantha's webpage. Oh, she's taking bets on who's going to get asked to the homecoming dance, and I want to know my odds. I need the computer for my homework, Mom. He is on a website called cockfight.com. <laughs> it's my agricultural project. It's chickens with knives. <laughs> what is going on? You forget that I'm bigger than you. You're going down. Now we're going to have to close the store and go home. Figures right at the height of the four o'clock rush. <laughs> what the? Hey! 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 Stock is enough! Look at this place. Your mom and I are down at the store laminating our patooties off. <laughs> You two are fighting like a couple of cardboard box salesmen. Now, your father and I discussed it. They're hiring a nanny. A nanny? I'm 16! And tonging your brother. <laughs> you should be setting a better example. We're not angry, Faith. Just disappointed. <laughs> Petey. Have I ever told you how good you look in khaki? 
<laughs> Many times, but I never tire of it. <laughs> We're still hiring a nanny. I told you it was a stupid idea. Shut up! Yes, the nanny position is still open. Have you had much experience with kids? You have three children? Oh, you had three children. Oh my God, that's horrible. No, I, I don't believe I've ever seen a threshing machine. Well, anywho, let me tell you a little about the job here. We're sorry for your loss. Are you nuts, Dad? Yeah, like living in this cursed family isn't dangerous enough. We are not cursed. The Pitts are just one of those families that has a little extra bad luck, like the Kennedys. The Kennedys have millions of dollars and great looks. Well, that's part of our bad luck. <laughs> Call me corny, but I believe life is a bowl of cherries, and you can't have cherries without the Pitts. <laughs> hey, who wants to go to the mall and check out the competition? They opened a new mailboxes galore. <laughs> you sell glitter pens and suddenly you're galore. Come on, Faith. We'll get you a dress for the homecoming dance. The homecoming dance? Please. I'm not going to that. It's just stupid people wearing stupid clothes dancing to stupid music. No one asked her. <laughs> under the floorboard in his room. No, I don't. And if you give me three minutes, I'll prove it. Faith, you are a beautiful, sweet girl. And one day, every you boy save will... save the caterpillar butterfly speech, Dad. The guys were afraid to ask me out. Remember when Greg Johnson came to pick me up for a date and his car got swallowed by that sinkhole in our driveway? Mm. Well... I'll bet there's a young man out there right now just trying to get up the nerve to ask you. Your dad didn't ask me to the prom until the night before. She was just so darn pretty. Oh. <laughs> I assume she already had a date. In fact, I already had a date until your best friend let it slip how hot you were for me. I didn't know you dumped a girl for me. Yeah. That is so <laughs> Who was it? Uh, remember Shelly Shemkoff? <gasps> no. Uh, 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 sure you do. <laughs> yeah, Shelly Shemkoff. <laughs> Smelly Shelly? <laughs> Smelly Shelly? I can't believe you asked Smelly Shelly to the prom. <laughs> she asked me. <laughs> I wanted to say no, but... She looked at me with that lazy eye of hers. Well, what excuse did you use to get out of it? Uh, no excuses, no lies. I just didn't show up. You stood her up? Well, I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So your solution was to let her sit at home in a prom dress waiting for a corsage that never came? <laughs> You were just so darn pretty. Can it, Bob? Oh, come on. Well, that was 25 years ago. I'm sure she's forgotten all about it. the nanny job? I'm Shelly. No, Shirley. Definitely Shirley. <laughs> Shirley Poppins. Ooh, you know CPR? The Heimlich Maneuver? Wow, sign language. <laughs> you sure must love kids. Oh, yes. I believe the children are our future. <laughs> Did you see that, Liz? Yeah. Man, I wish I was deaf. <laughs> Say something else. When do I start? <laughs> I like her. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this, of course, is the kitchen, where I order all our takeout food. 
<laughs> Is she a stitch or what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's often salt mines. Soon, you will be mine. <laughs> Do you hear that? Mine! <laughs> You know your mom's rule. No video games until your homework's done. Oh, man. And it's done. You did my homework? What's wrong, Faith? Just found out that me and Lisa Sizemore are the only two girls who haven't been asked to the dance. Lisa Sizemore doesn't have legs. I know. <laughs> I've got just the thing to cheer you up. Money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love money. How did we ever live without a nanny? <laughs> okay, lots for you. Lots for you. Really lots for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look. oh, that's good. Why do you taste this, Liz? Oh, I'm so sorry, Bob. I didn't make enough for your current wife. <laughs> Here, take some of mine. You're giving it away? I thought you liked it. I do. I'm just sharing. I overcooked it, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You can tell me I'm a big girl. A big, stupid, overcooked girl. No. No. No, Shirley. It, it's, it's great. No, 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 no. Look at me eat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not giving her any. I'm so sorry. You must all think I'm crazy. Oh, no, 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 very oh, oh, no. <laughs> So, how was your day, Bob? <laughs> Non-stop. It started with an overshipment of post-its and an oh, escalator. I'm sorry. Is your name Bob? <laughs> so, Bob. Okay. got to get rid of her, Bob. No! Come on, Liz. It's her first day. She's just trying too hard to please. Yeah, trying to please you. How's your meatloaf, Bob? How's your day, Bob? Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> She's killing Lucky. <laughs> he was choking on a milk bone. You heimlicked our dog? Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> Well, I guess we owe Shirley a big thank you, don't we? Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> you were right, Bob. I learned a valuable lesson about judging people too quickly. What are you doing in Shirley's room? I thought you learned a valuable lesson. I did. Never accuse someone of being nuts without proof. Now get in here and help Mommy rifle through her things. Does Dad know you're doing this? He's at the gym. That's not what I asked. Hey, Mom, you and Shirley have the same taste in clothes. Those are my Jacqueline Smith originals. <laughs> hey, your prom picture. Did you used to have a different head? <laughs> Smelly Shelly. Look, her diary. And it's open. <laughs> June 10th, 1979. I'm going to the prom with Bob Pitt. Dino might. <laughs> June 11th. Bob stood me up and took Liz Wilson, that no good man stealing slut. Mom. <laughs> If it takes the rest of my life, I, I will, will be, be Mrs. Mrs. Bob Pitt. We know you're smelly, Shelly Shirley. <laughs> you stole my dream life, Liz. I'm here to get it back. You dreamed of selling stamps and living in a house with one bathroom? <laughs> Don't belittle my dream! Oh. 
<laughs> now get into the trunk. There's three of us. You get in. <laughs> Lucky, I hope this doesn't lodge in his throat like the last one I lodged there. <laughs> You're insane. Yeah, I think that's been established. All right, I'm getting in the trunk. But Bob will never dub me for you. And if you think that home cooking and blonde hair and big knuckers are gonna sway him, then you don't know the first thing about men. <laughs> FYI, I just overfed him. <laughs> hey! Guess who bench pressed 40 pounds? <laughs> my, my, my. You've got legs that won't quit, Bob. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shirley. Where's Liz? Who cares? I've got a warm bath all ready for us. <laughs> it's no use. No one can hear us. And Lucky keeps farting. <sighs> Stuff like this never happens to Samantha's family. I wish I was still Satan. I blast his trunk open. Oh, I wish you were Satan too, sweetie. <laughs> I'm gonna die without ever knowing true love. It ain't that great. <laughs> no one's gonna die tonight. Okay, team. On the count of three, scoot. One, two, three. Scoot. Four, five, six. Scoot. Kiss me, Bob. Let's tongue wrestle. <laughs> chew your name on my back. Oh. <laughs> I am not going to chew one word on your back until I know what you've done with my family. Just that's a long time. Stay out of this, Liz. All I want is what's rightfully mine. Your husband. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Go. between me and my prom date. <laughs> craziest thing Shelly did was thinking she could ever split up this family. Hey, Faith, what's up? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
That, yeah, my parents hired a psycho nanny. <laughs> I love this family. <laughs> well, why are you here? Well, I ran to your dad at the gym and he said nobody asked you to the dance. <laughs> So, would you like to go? Well, aren't you afraid to go out with me? Hey, what's the worst that could happen to an altar boy? <laughs> Besides, you're worth the risk. Oh. Wait a second, I just realized the dance is tomorrow and I don't have anything to wear. Yes, you do. Upstairs in my room, my old silk prom dress. It's never been used. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Oh, I am going to miss you so much. She tried to steal your father and suffocate us. Who cares? I'm going to the dance. <laughs> rich or perfect and none of them are professional singers but here on american idol each one of them can realize their greatest dream we're trying to find the best undiscovered talent in america fox tuesday nine finalists nine performances and america's vote will decide their destiny that was outstanding you know what this competition is all about american idol followed by an all-new 24 it all starts at 8 fox tuesday